Dear Virgos, welcome to my channel. My name is Levi and this is your weekly tarot reading. This is a timeless reading, a universal reading. So whenever you watch this video, this is for the following seven days. Um, only take what resonates with you. If something uh, doesn't, then just leave the rest. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. That helps me grow. Thank you very much. And with that, let's get going. Okay, dear Virgo, if you feel you are in a, in a dark at the moment and you are not sure what decision to make or if your decisions that you have to make are going to be the correct ones or there is some sort of uh, unsettlement, unease, um, I suggest take a rest. Okay, don't make, don't make um, haste decisions at the moment. It seems like you are in the dark you are there is some sort of indecision this is a two of swords in here you can't see what's what's the right thing so the only way to uh, address this situation and uh, and uh, be able to make decisions if you open your heart so if you take these swords off and you try not to make decisions from your head logically um and and using your love left brain to to get some sort of solution to the problem that has been some sort of problem in the, in the past that you are moving away from. So uh, you are not out of the water yet, but you are in a much better position than you were lately. Okay, so just keep going because you're going to go into calmer shore right here. So that enlightenment, that information, that communication, that um, answer is going to come. Because you have here um, an Ace of Swords in the future. So it's go that, that information is going to come, what you're waiting for, to make that decision, whatever, or to see the light, to see the light, okay, or the road ahead. The Death card here signifies that there is a transformation happening. So something is done, something is dead, now the sun is going to rise up okay you can see it right here the sun is coming up so whatever happened with you or around you in the in the near past is going to pass it's going to going to be history okay you have here the wheel of fortune that says that like this is a new cycle is going to uh, start you are part of it so be ready for this new cycle look at the opportunities but not logically, no, no, don't try it with your head. It's all about what you feel, how you can move forward, because you have to, you have to let all those negative stuff go out first before you are ready to enter a new era, um, a new beginning. Walk away from all the pain, all the situations, all the negative um, blocks, all the suffering, all the fears that won't serve you any longer. Just walk away from the empty cups because you deserve all the full cups in the future. But that can only happen if you if you don't if you don't settle in the pain in the in and in this situation where you are at the moment. You are on top of everything, so you don't have to um, like you don't need to worry too much. But still, you have to make some sort of um, step towards the goal that you want to you want to achieve. So you you are you you face the challenge. You are good. You keep keep working towards a, um, positive outcome, but sometimes it seems like you are very hot headed. Okay, sometimes it it feels like you are making decisions, just chopping everything off around you, uh, and hurt people, even hurt yourself, even if you don't want to. It's not intentional, but you just can't see. You have to slow down. This is what the the Knight of Swords are saying. Slow down. And look at what's surround, like what's around you, your, your surrounding, the people, the situation, and look at things from from a different perspective. Because if you just 
rush you with you go with such a velocity that you ne you don't even see the you don't don't enjoy the environment you can't see what's around you you don't even know what station you should get off uh because you you're just running so you don't even recognize that the place you are actually uh, um, arrived to okay if you have if you had any issue with um an issue with health, well-being, um, obsessions like um, bad habits, drug, alcohol, cigarettes, bad eating, um, like overeating, or like anything that is or just a bad toxic relationship. Recently, the devil card um, warns you that it's in the past. So get past that situation. Um, and cut out everything, everything toxic from your life. Evaluate what is right, what is... See the death card here with the devil, that's like the end of a cycle. So evaluate what's, uh, what's worth taking to the next phase. And anything that it doesn't cut it, you have to take it out of your life. Okay, it's your it's for your own well-being it's, it's for your own sanity you need to make sure that everything that you're going to take into this new cycle of your life is sustainable it's it's um, voluble it's going to help you grow it's not going to drag you down it's not going to make you miserable it's not going to cause fear pain disappointment um, so be positive but don't carry the dead weight on your shoulder. Don't, don't carry the extra weight on your shoulder. Just walk away from every situation, if you can, that won't serve you any longer. You might feel that you're walking in the dark and you lose something you worked for for such a long time, but it is inevitable that if you don't drop that weight, nothing can be picked up, nothing better can be picked up because you cannot carry more than uh, uh, what your strength um, allows you, okay? Listen to your inner voice because the High Priestess is going to give you the wisdom, okay? This is still, there's a lot of things hidden in here, okay? There are a lot of secrets, a lot of things you don't know, you don't understand, but there are a lot of things in the world we don't understand. There are a lot of things in us we don't understand and in our relationships and connection we don't understand, we don't know. It's been kept as a secret. Certain things we don't need to know. It doesn't matter if, like, why something is dead, is dead. It doesn't matter why it's dead. It doesn't matter, it, it doesn't matter the reason, okay? If somebody, someone leaves you, breaks up with you or fires you or whatever is, is, is in a life situation, well, it is what it is, deal with it. What happens after, it doesn't matter the cause, it doesn't matter the reason in, in that. Time. In long term, you might find out the answer, but at this stage, right now, if you have any health issues or anything, it doesn't matter what what's the cause was, focus on the solution. How can you how can you make it better, okay? This is not a health advice, it's just like a universal understanding, okay? So you're positive, you, you focusing on well-being um, and figure out how to get back to, the, to the, um, the situation, how to get back to the best uh, self you can be. Again, the, the, another thing with the high priestess is, see there's a black and white column um, around her, so you might have to really evaluate every little things in your life and, and make sure there are very final cuts like I like this, I dislike this, I want this, I don't want this. Um, it helps me, it doesn't. It, it motivates me, it pushes me down. So, so separate people, things, uh, activities, uh, even workplace, whatever is in your life, you have to have a piece of paper, put a line, yes, no. Is it good? Is not good? And separate things. The majority of the things you're doing in a daily basis in your life, separate them. What serves you in the long term? 
and if something doesn't that has to be cut out of your life okay so this week may be a good week to to be very, very precise on your dealings and very precise on what you want and how you want to go forward okay the strength card here is is uh, is telling you that you have to tame that lion okay so this is control and self control if you had any issues in the past that that um, you felt weakened and something else was stronger in your body or or around you that uh, determines your behavior and and uh, what you do okay so this is like addictions and uh, toxic relationships anything that is is sending you to a direction that you with a normal frame of mind a healthy frame of mind you would not go there okay so that could be depression that could that, that could be a lot of things so that inner voice in you have to be tamed okay so that inner voice have to have to know its place because that's the ego speaking, okay? So um, uh, you might do certain things that you wouldn't do in your, like in a normal circumstances you won't do, but you're being put in, a, in into a place where you feel you are not strong enough. And this is where this comes in. Remember, remember uh, the strength card, you have to tame that lion, okay? The lion inside you, the lion around, the lions around you. You have, you have to control the situation as much to be able to uh, to influence so things turns in in a way that is better for you and for for your for your health your wealth and your uh, happiness okay decide who you want to be you want to be a person whose glass is half full or the person whose glass is half empty you can focus on the negative you can focus on those uh, um, spillages what you have lost in the past, you, you have gone out of your life and, and uh, whatever, or you can focus on whatever is still there for you and is going to be there in the future or you're focusing towards that, how you can build more of what you want, okay? Focusing on what you want is the only way forward. Focusing on what you don't want, you're just going to get more of that. It doesn't, it doesn't going to, uh, it's not going to do anything better, any, any better in your life. So focus on what you want, the positive things, and then you will find a way. You see the bridge at the back uh, and then the house um, across the river. So um, you might have to cross that river, okay? Or might have to, you have to cross that river and leave everything behind on this side that, that is no longer serving you, okay? And uh, finding a way, you can find your own way. You can get into a boat like here and, uh, and get to the other shore to the other side of the, the river or you can walk across the bridge or you can build a bridge there is many ways however what will serve you most is temperance okay <clears throat> so finding balance in your life is the key evaluating what you want and what you don't want eliminate and favor okay because then the opportunities can come in something new so something have to take something have to be taken out to something new to come in okay and this is going to link the past present future together okay so it will make sense but it only makes sense if you are alive and if you are happy in your body and if you are healthy and you can you, you are mobile you can do certain things only then it will make sense so find balance okay so this is two opposing opposing cards like the devil is the overindulgence the um the overeating over drinking bad habits obsessions um uh, drug sex alcohol anything that you can escape anything that you can escape into okay computer games uh, um, watching uh, series for the rest of like these are the bad and negative things. It wants balance. Okay? Set yourself some sort of balance. Put a alarm, a stoppage time to certain things. I'm not going to watch things any longer. One hour a day doing this or, or um, like cut out bad habits. Okay, I'm not going out only once a week. Not three times. Or I'm not going out once a month. 
not every weekend okay so these sort of things and things that you clearly know they are not helping and they are not useful for you and actually they harm you then eliminate them completely and then the new opportunity will come and you will learn some more and you will get to the next level okay so with that dear virgo let me give you some um, sacred destiny oracle card what's the message from the universe for the virgos for this week what to focus on okay let's see going forward that is all about in here everything i said you are moving and you should moving towards the better show openness be open to new opportunities be open to new suggestions be open to a new cycle okay be open to the possibility that things you were doing might not be right everything okay so be open to say well i think that doesn't work so i'm gonna eliminate from my life and finally you have illumination well you might be you may have been um, sugar coating okay so you might have been in a in a, in a, um, in a relationship or you were in a position or a work uh, or a job place whatever and you said well it's not too bad okay well certain things are not as they appear because we make them different we make them look like something or we want them to look like something and then we are blind to um, the reality okay so try to like step back and look at things and find what they really are and what they really mean to you okay so let's see what's the numerology card there's three more cards yeah healing yes so if, if there was any health issue anything in the past for you then healing is is uh, is on its way okay you need you need uh, that healing spiritually mentally physically emotionally in every way it doesn't matter what situation uh, there was but focus on the healing not on the not on the wound not on the the cause okay music maybe some music therapy singing uh, dancing um, instruments uh, we're going to concerts whatever um, finding meditative music could really help hypnotherapy um, and whatever and karma completion this is the same card as um, wheel of fortune number 10 number 10 okay so this is karma completion something a cycle just has been completed okay done new cycle is on the horizon are you ready to get on that new cycle are you ready to move on to a better um, part of your life i hope you are because the opportunity is going to be given to you very soon so get ready open your heart and open your eyes because it seems like you are closing your eyes and you don't want to see the the truth right so let's see what your love life is about i haven't seen any emotional cards in here so um uh, let's see okay make the effort so yeah taking taking steps towards what you want make the effort okay then very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you exactly so very soon it's it's going to come it's just be patient and be focused on what you really want and children your life is being affected by children this card comes out for most of the signs this week which is very interesting so my question is and i always say even if there is no you might not have any children but uh you have your inner child within okay um try to or if you have children in the family just just look at how they can they can um live their life without feeling what happened yesterday maybe yesterday they were really sad they were crying that incident accident happens and today they are just like oh yeah we go we go with the flow it's just another toy and 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 they shift their focus and they go and they move on to a, a much positive uh a place you know like one one day there's all this drama and the next day they all happy how is that possible because they can close off 
uh, that side of their their brain that memory is being being taken out so maybe this is something you could exercise as well because uh, if you had disappointment you had pain suffering uh, bad things happened with you well you don't have to carry them for forever okay they will always be there the memory could be always be there but the inf their influence to your everyday and on the now might be less significant if you focus on the positive and the possibilities what is still there for you okay so with that dear virgo thank you for watching it was a pleasure doing this video for you so hit the like button and sign up to my channel and um, have a good weekend